In this tiny tip, I'm going to help you organize your fields within a query. Now, I'm not proposing that you have one big flat query like we have here, but if you have a query with a lot of columns, you might want to organize it for your end user. Let's go into the data mode here and let's take a look. And what you see is I have over 30 columns of data. And this data could be organized in a much better fashion. For example, I could put the address fields all together and that would be something that would be helpful to me, including the phone number and maybe the contact name. And maybe the individual line information, I can put that in another grouping. So let me show you how I could do that now. What I'm going to do is come down to the modeling view, which I like to call the relationship view. And you can see I just have this one table with all of those fields. And again, I'm not proposing a big flat table, but if you have a lot of columns, this is what you could do. I'm going to come over here and select the fields on the right and open up this particular pane. And I might even stretch it out a bit so it's a little easier to see. And the first thing I want to do is maybe start with some of the address information. So I'm going to start with address line one and go ahead and select on that. And then I have an option right here in properties for display folder. And I'm just going to call this address. Got to spell it right. There we go. And now I have address line one in that address folder. So I'm going to grab address line two and drag it up to the folder. And I'm going to do the same with city. And actually, I'm going to do the same with contact and country. So I'm going to multi-select those and drag those up. All right, and then let's see, I've got city, contact, country, I want phone, and I also need state and zip. So here's the state. And let me grab the zip code. And now I have organized this a little bit better. So I could collapse this up and now I have a smaller group. And this is gonna be easier for people to see. I'm going to go ahead and organize these a little bit more and then we'll look at the final results in report mode. Okay, now I've organized everything. So all that's left is the main sales information. I have a folder for the line items one that contains all the dates, one that contains all the addresses, and one that contains all of the statuses. So let's go back into report mode, and you could see how much easier this is for an end user. So if you wanted to get an address field, you would just open up the addresses, and you could see your address information. And this will make it a lot easier for your users. I hope this tiny tip helps.